Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to continue forward with uh, the song that we're making. In our previous video, uh, we went ahead and created our little simple drum track, which we're going to expand on a little bit later. Of course, we did our bass line and a quick little melody track. Now we're going to move on to the chorus section of the song, include, uh, of course, some uh, chords and probably a bass line uh, just to get things started. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, track right around here. And I'll tell you a little bit about the chords that we're going to be using. Uh, since we're going to be... Uh, but since we're actually in the key of A flat major, we're going to go ahead and use these chords for the chord progression. We're going to use a C minor, which consists of a C, an E flat, and a G, an E flat major, which includes a E flat, a G, and a B flat, an F minor, which includes an F, an A flat, and a G, and an A flat major, which includes a A flat, a C, and an E flat. And it should sound something like this. So um, those are the chords that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and begin uh, recording here. I'm going to go ahead and move it so I can see this a little bit better. So you guys can see it a little bit better too. Nice. Uh, so we're going to do a, a four count and then begin. Okay, so we probably didn't see that, but it recorded down there in the bottom. Let's go ahead and expand this track, take a look at it uh, so we can edit it a little bit. Awesome. So we're going to do a select all, select all of our uh, uh, MIDI information right here and quantize it as usual. And as we can see here, some of these notes uh, ended sooner than others, and we're going to go ahead and clean this up a bit so that we have a, a better sounding track. So let's go ahead and start moving some notes around. And as you can tell, this is the, the more tedious part of uh, song making, uh, is the editing part, but uh, I'll try to move as quickly as possible so we can get through this. Awesome. Okay, so those uh, that seems about right. Let's go ahead and hear it on its own again. Nice. So I like that. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and have a, uh, a new bass track come along and play with this. So let's go ahead and find a cool bass sound. sounds here go down to our synth bass and hopefully we can find something cool right away okay so I think I like this one um, let's go ahead and hit play and come up with a new bass track Thank you. 
kind of like the way that sounds and we're going to use it. So uh, let's go ahead and accidentally select the score here. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and arm our track. Actually, let's go ahead and create a longer loop just in case. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit this a little bit. Of course, uh, Control A, and we're going to quantize this to 16th note. And we're also going to go ahead and copy this, give this a little bit more here. Uh, looks like I got that in the wrong area here. Let's go ahead and copy this as well. Copy and. Let's go ahead and paste and drag this back. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. All right, very cool. So it's starting to, uh, the song's starting to pick up a little bit. We have a, we have a little, outro actually we have a little intro there we have a verse and now we're starting on our uh, chorus here uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decide a length uh, which usually a chorus is uh, usually around 16 measures uh, so let's go ahead and make that happen uh, i'm going to go ahead and copy this actually let's go ahead and do this um, maybe i already made a predetermined area there we are so i know exactly how much to copy And let's see if it ended up, yep, so that looks about right. Uh, so now we have our little uh, chorus here, but it's gonna be a little bit boring if we just leave it like that. So let's go ahead and um, add some more stuff to it, or at least make some changes. I think uh, this right here, this uh, this would be nice if we added an arpeggiated area to it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my MIDI effect right here and select an arpeggiator. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and decide how I want it to sound. So I'll just hit play, and then uh, whatever I like, I'll go ahead uh, and use that and automate it, of course. that the way that sounds right off the bat so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, begin automating uh, so normally what I like to do is have changes happen uh, within you know usually uh, four four measures or, or 16 bars uh, and I think that's when I'm gonna turn the automation on so I'm gonna uh, bring up my automation area right here and I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, what I want to what I want to be automated. Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. And let's see. There you go. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to add two automation points. So this is going to be so that it's actually off. So I want it off for a little while. And then once it reaches this area right here, I want it to go ahead and turn on for some variation. And we'll go ahead and give that a go in just a second. Actually, let's go ahead and hear it from the beginning. Uh, that usually uh, will probably be, be the best idea.
All right, very nice. So I like the way this uh, the song's going. I kind of want to go ahead and clear up uh, the drums a little bit, the snare and, and the kick. I want to do some uh, slight EQing, maybe use some presets just to uh, get things rolling. And uh, let's go ahead and find a nice little section with just the drums and loop that. And we'll start uh, deciding on how we want our drums to sound. Uh, so I'm going to go into, actually, I want to go ahead and adjust the snare first. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And so I'm going to go to my EQ, double click on that, and I'm going to go ahead and try to find a nice little preset that might work. We'll start with the natural snare and hear how that sounds. So I like that uh, that sound for the snare. We're going to go ahead and keep that. Now let's go ahead and find something for the kick there. Uh, kind of uh, beef up that, that kick sound a little bit. Okay, I like that one, so uh, we're going to go ahead and stick with that one because it has a really uh, nice low end. And see, as you're moving along in your project, that's pretty much what you want to do, is you want to uh, begin adding more uh, new instruments and then equalizing and lowering and panning uh, your, your, your new tracks there as you move along. And as you get even further and further and start adding even more tracks, uh, you'll pay more and more attention to the uh, panning so that each track has its own space. And we'll go ahead and cover that in our next upcoming videos. I'll catch you guys on those ones. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.